know. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. <sighs> really, I'm, I'm just gonna kill myself during chemo by, I don't know, falling down the stairs and breaking every bone in my body. I don't even know how to start this, really. What am I, what am I even doing, really? This is probably a little insane and a lot of you will not really understand why I do this, but hi, this is me. Hi, I'm Jessica. I am 21 years old. I'm from Switzerland and I have cancer. Da -da 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 -da. Cancer is a, like a huge word. It's like, whoa, 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 stop, stop right there. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -mm -mm. We're not gonna do this. Um, but I am doing this. I am suffering from something that is called Morbus Hodgkin or a Hodgkin lymphoma, which basically means my lymphs are fucked up. I have several tumors in my body spread like everywhere, basically. Um, the biggest one being the size of a like a tennis ball. They told me, which is quite big, and I I'm not. Like, I am not sure where this tennis ball is hiding, but it is, apparently. And I have decided to keep a video journal of this whole cancer journey that is about to start. A little scared, really. Actually, I'm, I'm very scared. <laughs> because, um, that, it, it's just a lot, really. I'm 21. I was always like, oh, I have so much time. Life lies ahead of me and there is no hurry and no rush and just take your time, girl. <sighs> and now I have cancer. It's not like with, I don't know, lung cancer where it's like, oh, you smoked, so you have increased your risk of getting lung cancer. Nope. Hodgkin is just like, well, <laughs> hi, I'm here. <laughs> And it just fucks you up. Right now, I am actually doing okay-ish health-wise. I don't have much um, bee symptoms. I do have like itches and there is, but it could be a lot worse. Like I'm not feeling sick, I'm not feeling tired or, well, m not more tired than I usually am because I'm one lazy um, girl. But yeah, I'm doing relatively fine. So it's not actually cancer that is gonna, well, fuck me up necessarily, <laughs> but chemo, which I am a teeny, teeny, teeny tiny little very, very scared of. I'm terrified of losing my hair because as you might be able to see, it is like quite long and <sighs> I might even say it's quite beautiful as of right now because I have been growing it out for six years. Six years. That is insane. This video is essentially just me saying hi. <laughs> Welcome to this journey. I am very excited, scared, terrified. Yeah, all that and more but i hope i can give you guys some insight in what it feels like to have cancer at such a very young age because when i got my um diagnosis um i got it oh i got it i got it a week ago today so obviously the millennial teenager that i am i instantly searched youtube and i couldn't really find much about um Hodgkin lymphomas So I thought you know what you have it anyway document it. You've always been a talker You've vlogged before and you've done Stuff like that and you have a blog and blah 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 document it for others because To me, I think it would have really helped if I would have seen someone talk about their experience with like chemo and all that is about to happen I don't even know like I'm gonna choose my wig in a few days like I'm gonna have a wig what what this is crazy 
I'm gonna cut off my hair and I just I don't know I just want to document it also for me not necessarily for you if you enjoy it that's wonderful hi welcome um, but it's more for me really also to be able to look back on it when I feel like down or something because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be bad days right now I am rather optimistic because chances are really high that I'm gonna get I'm, I mean I'm gonna get the best treatment possible I live in Switzerland medicine here is amazing my doctor is a bloody angel I love her so much she she's great so I'm very optimistic so there is actually just like a teeny chance that it's not gonna work but I'm we're just gonna ignore that the way I deal with all my problems not I don't I don't deal with problems <laughs> Yay, great, that's the way to go, I'm a teenager. Actually, I'm not really a teenager anymore, am I? 21, oh God, I'm so old. But anyway, this video is probably all over the place. I need to script my next videos, but I just sat down because I felt like it. And yeah, I am terrified, <laughs> but I have all the support that I can get. I have a loving family i have wonderful wonderful friends which i am so so thankful for i have a boyfriend that is fully supporting me just a huge thank you to all of those people already now before chemo even started they've been here for me when they they oh they actually cut out a part of my my limp you can see it i'll, I'll show you the scar can you see that there yeah you you can see it it's healing it's gonna look good healing very nicely which I'm very pleased with because I don't want no ugly scars yeah I can't speak that is me I'm a mess basically and you can just watch me be a mess for the next couple of months and watch me lose my hair get a wig do chemo have a shit ton of stuff happening probably Join me on this wild ride that is fighting cancer. So I'm very happy that you are here, that you have listened to me ramble on for a few minutes now. And I will see you guys next time, which is probably going to be a video about um, infertility, because that is a huge risk and I am doing hormonal therapy at the moment so I'm poking myself with needles every day and that is also very scary but I'll, I'll talk about that in a separate video because it is a big part of this whole thing for me right now so yeah up until then take care love everyone you meet and just be happy enjoy life it's beautiful don't waste it okay <laughs> Bye. <laughs>